The brand new Pokemon card set, Silver Tempest, has just been released, and today we're going to be opening up the brand new Elite Trainer boxes. These ETBs feature an Alolan Vulpix on the front, and inside contains a ton of exclusive products. But we're not just going to be opening up one ETB. Today, I'm actually going to be opening up five of ten, which means that the other five are actually going to be given away to five lucky subscribers here on the channel. So to enter the giveaway, all I have to do is number one, smash the like button. Number two, make sure you subscribe to the channel with notifications on. And then number three, leave a comment down below in the comment section. Man, these ETBs look really good. The Alolan Vulpix on the front with all these little, like, crystals on the side here. That nice blue that kind of just fades down into white. Looks really nice. And then on the back, you can see it just comes with a ton of stuff um, inside this box. But if you guys missed it, yesterday I opened up a booster box of this brand new set. And, uh, well, we didn't pull any Lugia. Like, yeah, there's literally six Lugias in this set, and we didn't pull a single one. But hopefully that's going to change today because we're opening up... Not just this one ETB here, like I mentioned earlier. It's going to be five ETBs. So I think we're going to be opening up around 40 booster packs today. So hopefully, I mean, look, I would love to get any of the top hitter uh, Lugia cards. But honestly, any of them would be amazing. Now, the first thing I'm going to show you guys here is we actually are going to be able to see the set list in English for the first time. So honestly, this is pretty exciting because anytime you look online, you don't actually see any of the cards in English. So this is really cool. So let's just kind of go through here. And you kind of see like all the different types of cards that are featured in here. But what we really want to see is actually going to be the full list of all the cards in this actual set. And you know, we're going to just skip right to the big hitter. So you can see some of the Lugia and Ho cards in here. Um, and if we keep going through here, this is where all the big hitters are. So you got all your full arts on here. Or at least half this page is full arts. And then boom, baby, look at this. This is all the good stuff that we want to see. I'll give you guys a close-up look there. So you have all these full arts, all these different alt arts. On the side here, you got more full art trainers. You got a bunch of really cool rainbows. Lugia's on there too. Then you move into the trainer gallery, which is uh, honestly a fan favorite for a lot of people. And then we move through the rest of the trainer gallery. There's just so much in this set. Okay, so next thing we're going to see is what else is going to be in this Silver Tempest ETB. I don't think there's going to be a promo card. Usually they only put those in special sets, but let's just see what we got. All right, all right. We'll start with all the boring stuff first. So this is in everything. These are actually kind of cool, though, these dice. I like, the, I like that it kind of looks like ice and then uh, kind of like snow a little bit. These are standard. Then what else? Let's see. Let's see. This should be exclusive for sure, though. This is going to be cool. Oh, I like the insert. I'll show you guys that a little bit uh, up close there. But first, we got to see these sleeves, baby. Look at this. Alolan Vulpix sleeves. I like the blue. Okay, okay. I definitely could see myself using these. You get the sleeves. You usually get dividers in here, too. And there they are. Okay, so we got our dividers to get four of these. Really clean. I like the vol. So this has a different sort of like look to it, different colors than the sleeves. You do have a code card as well to go with it. A bunch of energies. Usually there's nothing in here, but uh, maybe I'll just open it just uh, just to double check to see if there's anything kind of in here that we might not realize is in here. But I'm gonna assume it's all energies, and it is. Hey, you can't blame me for trying. I at least had the look. All right. So next we do have the packs. There should be eight packs in here. There we go. Nice. Okay. And then finally, I'll show you guys this insert here, which is actually pretty sick. I love these crystals. They look really cool. Okay, so our first ETB, we're going to start off with the Alolan Vulpix artwork here. And we're going to see what we can get out of here. So, I mean, look, I would like to I would like to start pulling Lugia. I mean, this whole set is Lugia hype. This is a set that finally features Lugia. And it's not just one Lugia card. It's a ton of amazing Lugias. Okay, so we do a regular V to start off. That's not bad. The fact that I haven't pulled a single Lugia is a little bit concerning. Um, just because you can pull them as, like, regular V cards, which is going to be just like that card, which is not that difficult to pull. But you can also pull full arts, which are definitely tougher. It definitely gets tougher as you go. V stars as well. Rainbow. Oh, what? I didn't, know I didn't even realize this was in the set. Oh, my God. We just got a shiny Alakazam. Bro, that's a top tier radiant if I've ever seen one. Oh, my God, dude. I love that card. Oh, that's crazy cool. And then we do have a hollow behind it, but... No way. This you cannot tell me that this card isn't amazing. Dude, that is crazy cool. I don't even know what other Radiants are in this, but I'm going to tell you that was my favorite without even seeing some of the other ones. All right, we're two for two, baby. Two for two. Let's keep it going. All right, pack number three of our first ETP. Are we going to get our first Lugia today? I hope so. And I'm not even going to... I'm not going to mention the alternate artwork Lugia because if we could somehow get that, I would be amazed. I'm not saying that we can't get that Lugia. I'm just saying that... Typically, when I say a card is, well, I didn't really say it's my favorite in the set, but I guess I'll just say it. The alternate artwork Lugia is definitely my favorite card in the set. I do like a bunch of other cards, though. There's definitely, like, top, I probably have a top 10 for sure. Jinx! 
We got this card. We have pulled it in the Japanese version, though. But we'll take the jinx. All right, let's keep it going. We got three nice hits so far. Honestly, pretty solid. The Alakazam is definitely my favorite so far out of this ETB. But remember, we got five ETBs. Silver Tempest. This officially drops November 11th. As of this video, I think it's the 4th, so, you know, it's got about a week until it's released. I'm still debating it. I'm still thinking about if we should do a stream where I attempt to complete the entire set. I'm on the fence about it, because it's going to be brutal. It's going to be a ton of fun. It's going to be so much fun, actually, but it's going to be really brutal. Like, once you get to the 5-6 hour mark, that's when I feel like I start losing it a little bit. All right, we're on pack number 7 of 8, first ETB. Can we get something else out of here? We got a lot of hits so far. 3 is pretty solid. But can we get another one? Can we get at least like a full art or better is the question. Dratini, Phoebus, Fletchling. Oh, no. Last pack from our first ETB of Silver Tempest. Let me know what you think of the ETB. Wait, what was that? I think there was something on here. There was. Oh, wait. Is that normally on there? It's like a green part. I don't know what I'm looking at. Maybe that's normally there. Did I do the pack trick yet? Don't even know. Oh, nope. I definitely didn't. All right. So last pack is a Reunculus Regular Hollow. And since we already opened the ETB... I thought I'd just get all the packs out, and we're just ready to go here. So I got a big pile of Silver Tempest booster packs. We're going to go through these and see what else we can get out here. Dratini Reverse, another hollow? What's with all the hollows? I'm pretty pumped, though. So, so far, I've only pulled one secret rare from this set, the Gold Superior. And uh, I would like to get... <laughs> I was going to say, I would like to get the first Lugia, and it's going to be the Lugia V-Star. That's going to be one of six of the Lugias in this set. Okay, that is beautiful. That's beautiful. We got our first Lugia V-Star, baby. Let's go. All right, finally, it's about time. I was going to say, ooh, continuing with the hits, Rushuram V, regular V-Card. Oh, baby. All right, let's keep it rolling here. Next booster pack. Can we continue this trend of pulls? I think we can. Another, <laughs> another Chestnut V. Okay, that's fine. All right, let's go with the Alolan Vulpix booster pack next. So we're kind of on a roll right now. We're kind of on a roll. Let's just keep that going. Let's just keep getting pulls. Come on. Come on. Lily Gant, non -hollow. That's fine. Dude, I feel like I haven't seen anything in the set yet. <laughs> like, um, so technically, all right, I opened one booster box yesterday. This is five ETBs. So, I mean, it's not a ton of booster packs, right? But it's, it's a decent amount. But I feel like I haven't seen too much of this set at all. Like, in terms of the big hitters, I feel like we've only seen a couple, really. Wait a second. Wait a second. What's that? Oh, Gordy Full. I'll take it. Oh, I'll take it. I'll take a full train. That's fine. That's pretty solid. Gordy, full art trainer. That definitely works for me. Okay, we're on the right track because honestly, that's a full art. That's a good thing. I need full arts today. And full arts can also be alternate artworks. Oh, another Radiant. So that's our second one. So we have pulled this already, which is fine. But we got the Alakazam, which I already knew is going to be the best one. Alakazam is going to be the best. Unless there's probably one or two more Radiants that I haven't seen yet. But maybe we'll see what they are. Let's see. Okay, Litten, Rufflet, Durant. Ooh, okay, not hollow on this one. All right. Let's keep it rolling here. What can you expect to get out of ETBs is the question right now. Drowsy, Spinarak, Ralts, Krogunk. Ooh, Earthen, Sealstone. Kind of a cool looking card. So this is a V-Star power. It definitely has a different look to it than a normal holo. Looks a little, a little different, but I'll take it. All right, so still no secret rares. Unfortunately, we did get a full art. But yeah, I don't know how... Uh, yeah. That, that little thing right there, whatever that is, it's on all the packs, whatever that, whatever that's from or whatever that means. Um, we'll do the pack trick on this one. We got the black border code card, which means that we could get something cool. Quad stone. All right. Come on, baby. Let's get a secret rare today. Dratini Swirlix. Regular hollow. That's fine. We're just digging through this pile of packs right now. So, yeah, there's going to be a bunch of other Silver Tempest products that are releasing. Um, actually... Besides the Silver Tempest products that are releasing, there's a whole bunch of exclusive products that I've mentioned before. But a new, a brand new set, it was just released uh, yesterday or today. It depends on when this video drops. But uh, a brand new set of Pokemon cards was released. Bro, how we keep doing this? I will take it. Another Radiant Alakazam? That's fine with me. Three Radiants right now. It's kind of cool. Um, but no, yeah, another set was just released. I can't even think of the name of it. Something Zenith. Um... Something Zenith is the set name, and it's dropping in February, I think, and that's going to be technically like the final set of the Sword and Shield era. It's a special set. I is it a special set? I don't even know. I think it's a special set. Maybe it's not. I don't really know. I'm not sure, actually. Don't quote me on that, but I know a new set's coming out. I think it's a special set, but it also might not be a special set. I think it's a special set, and technically, I think that would be the last set from the Sword and Shield era, and I think this is the last main set from Sword and Shield, but I'm not 100% sure either. I don't really know. We're just having fun. <laughs> Rotom. Ooh, Regid Drago. Regular V. Not too bad. Dude, we haven't seen, like, any trainer gallery cards today either. Again, I feel like we have the weirdest luck with trainer gallery cards. Where are the trainer gallery cards? We only pulled one, right? Just the Jinx? 
Just the jinx so far. Okay, spin to Phoebus. Noibat. Snorunt. Uh, if you saw that in a sandbox, honestly, it's kind of cute, but I'd also run the other way. I'd be a little bit afraid. Pamphy and a non holo Okay. Reggie Alecki. Let's see what we got here. So we're going to go four on this one, just like all the other ones. I wonder if they're going to change that up for the new Scarlet and Violet, if it's going to be four from the back. I got to get used to that because I know X and Y was three from the back on most of them. Verizion. I would say Pokemon just put the rare as the last card in the pack, but honestly, I would not. I would advise against that just because the last card, you see that? It usually gets messed up because it's just pushed back there on the back of the pack. And then, yeah, so I mean, well, the code card technically takes the hit, so maybe they could do it. Maybe they could. I don't know what happened to this card. This one's beat up too. But yeah, maybe they could if the code card was technically last and then the, ugh, the jinx. And then the uh, rare was the second to last technically. Fungus. Dragonite Hollow. That's, I didn't even, that's sick. Okay, that's beautiful. Still seeing hollows that we have not pulled yet is interesting. Okay, I will take that. Let's keep rolling through here. So we're going to go four again. One, two, three, four. Okay. And then we go lightning. We go on and fossil. Pikachu, Growlithe, Clink. Whalmer, Dratini, Rayquaza, gold card out of nowhere. Oh my god, they have the gold cards again in the trainer gallery. And it's a Rayquaza. Dude. Okay, that's definitely my favorite pool so far today. No way. What do you guys think of this? So they did this with Mew, with Pikachu, and now they got Rayquaza. Oh, baby. Okay. I'm cool with that. Let's go. <laughs> that's amazing. I will take that 100%. All day, every day. All day, every day. That's sick. I think there is another gold card in this set. I don't know what it is, though. Oh, gold from the trainer gallery, anyway. I never know when to do the pack trick and when not to. Like, now I just realized I'm doing it, but I wasn't earlier than I was at the beginning. I don't really know. Let me know if you guys care or if you prefer. Honestly, though, if we do, like, really big openings, I'd never do the pack trick because we just have way too many packs if we're doing. If we're trying to complete the set, I don't do it. Arcanine. What do you guys say? Arcanine? Arcanine? I used to always say Arcanine, and then people were saying I said, I said it wrong. But, like, I still say Arcanine, and then sometimes I say Arcanine now, so now I just say both. I don't know. I always said Arcanine when I was a kid, and that's just how I say it now, too. Beldum, Baltoy, Sunkern, Riunculus. Oh, Volpix V. Very nice. Okay, not too many more packs left. We still have not seen a single Secret Rare, which is kind of kind of tough. I don't know. It's kind of tough. Um, yeah, it's... Yeah, I mean, we just haven't seen a single one. Like, I, I would hope we would get at least one today out of five ETBs. Armaldo, non holo. Okay, let's go with Lugia. Come on. And uh, speaking of, then, then no trainer galleries. Uh, there's like no trainer gallery cards so far. Just the one. Well, no, I'm sorry. The Rayquaz is also. So we got two, technically. Nine Tails, Esper, Smeargle, Litten. We got Chinchal, Keldeo, and a Frost. Okay, we're running low on packs right now. Okay, I would definitely say come back tomorrow as well. Make sure you finish watching this video, but come back tomorrow as well for more Silver Tempest. I don't know what I'm doing exactly. But I definitely will be opening up more Silver Tempest because this is the weekend. We're going to be opening up Silver Tempest probably all weekend as well. Oh, we had another V-Star. So, yes, yeah, so make sure you're subscribed with notifications on so you don't miss anything. But we have more Silver Tempest coming. There's a whole bunch of other products as well that we'll definitely get into. We'll definitely open those up. We'll see what it's all about. And, yes, official release date is November 11th, which is coming up very soon here. Venonat, Ralts. Coming down to the final, what's that, probably like eight packs or so right there. Eight or nine booster packs remaining. Let's see if we could get a secret rare out of one of these. I would think we could get at least one, right? I mean, I would hope. But I also wouldn't count on it, I guess, with Pokemon and how the pull rates are nowadays. You never know what to expect. Sometimes they're really good. Sometimes they're really bad. I don't really know. But we'll see. And I'm actually kind of curious how it's going to be on the new generation, Scarlet and Violet. Is it going to go back to no trainer galleries again? Can I go back to that? Oh, let's go. Oh, it's sleeping. That's crazy cool. Wow, look at the background, too. Dragon Claw, Fire, Water. It's not hot. We're making up for the lack of trainer gallery cards right now. Maybe this is where all the good stuff is. Still no secret rare, though. One secret rare, will please, for today. One secret... Okay, whatever that was, and... Oh, okay. All right, that was literally a troll pack. Okay. Well, we're going to see if we get anything else out of here. Let me know if you guys plan on opening up Silver Tempest. I honestly think it is probably going to be one of the best sets from the Sword Shield era. I feel like I've been saying that a lot for a lot of different sets, but I do mean it. Reshiram, full art hit, white blaze, and sparkling wing. These attacks are awesome. Okay, so we also have Reshiram in the set. I don't know how you could beat this. As I was saying it, anyway, um, I feel like this is definitely going to be one of the top sets from the Sword and Shield era, like, of all time. I don't know. It'd probably put it in the top five, I would, I would definitely assume. 
I would probably have it there personally, even though I have barely seen any of the cards yet. We've seen a very, very small percentage of the actual cards that you could pull out of this set. It's kind of crazy. Um, we have... Oh, really? We got to double up, but now we're getting so many Trainer Gallery cards. It's kind of crazy. Okay, I'll take it. Now, all of a sudden, we have like four Trainer Gallery cards, so I guess they were just waiting to be pulled. But no, so I'm like, my favorite Sword and Shield sets if... Uh, okay. Evolving Skies, Brilliant Stars... Lost Origin. I would probably put Silver Tempest in there. And then... I don't know. It's kind of hard. Chilling Rain, maybe? What do you guys think? What's your top five? Let me know. Honestly, the like, I feel like the majority of the, the top sets have been in the last like year from Sword and Shield era just because they start doing Trainer Galleries. And I just took it to another, a whole nother level when they did Trainer Galleries. Just really just absolutely destroyed like sword shield base rebel clash but i will say evolving skies has held strong without a trainer gallery think about that evolving skies does not have a trainer gallery and it's still held on as one of the best from the sword shield era a lot of people say it is the best so that's pretty that's that's a pretty good set you know what i mean because they have a lot of old arts in there a lot of really good ones all right we got two lugia packs left so they did put ho -Oh in here but not as many as i would like to see i mean i I would have liked to see an alternate artwork ho or like a gold or rainbow. Maybe they're saving that for another set or generation. We'll have to wait and see what happens. But Lugia definitely got the spotlight on this set. Durant, Talon Flame. Really about to not pull a secret rare. We're going to get some last pack magic here, please. All right. Come on. I'm not going to look at the code card. I'm going to hope that this maybe is going to be where our secret rare is. Otherwise, we ain't pulling a secret rare at all today. Oof. Okay, yeah. I mean, we got hits, but I think the booster box that we opened yesterday definitely had better pulls for sure. Unless we get something crazy. Oh, Terrakion regular hollow hit. All right, but that's going to do it. Make sure you guys enter today's giveaway if you haven't already. Five sealed elite trainer boxes going out to five subscribers here on the channel. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to smash the like button on your way out. If you want more content, click on one of the two videos at the top there. Hit that subscribe button as well. And as always, I hope you have a great day, and I will see you on the next one.